Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hussein Wilad Kronis. Friends, I received a message from one of my viewers. He said, I have an old ATX power supply. Its standby voltage has fault. Its inbuilt MOSFET switching IC TFC718S is damaged. So he removed the transformer, he measured the inductance and then he asked can we calculate the turns ratio from this from this inductance value and then the other question can I replace PWM IC with Viper 22A IC but I think auxiliary voltage of transformer is 5 volt so let's see the feasibility and this is the image of this IC PC718S so let's go to data sheet and we will check so here is P TFC 718S high performance switching power supply PWM controller data sheet switching power supply SMPS controller current mode in the short description he says it is high performance PWM current mode PWM controller and it works for AC to DC converters from ranging 85 to 265 volt and it delivers power normally at 12 watt without any error and its output power can rise up to 18 watt but the normal switching power that is 12 watt so it is used in AC to DC converter applications and it have 2.5 volt reference if we see its pin description pin number one is OB that is startup pin bootstrap pin then we have VCC pin number two OB can be programmed up to 16 volt, 15 volt, and VCC is 5 volt to 9 volt. Pin number 3 is ground. Pin number 4 is CT, timing capacitor. Pin number 5 is feedback. Pin number 6 is current sense. And 7, 8 is drive pin output collector. So, current sense it receives sampling pulses. So Normally 1 ohm, 2 ohm or less than 1 ohm resistor is installed here to control the current. Feedback, uh, here we receive a feedback pulse when the output voltage are regulated. So here we will receive feedback. So the one pin, that is pin number 4. In the condition our friend stated in his message that this IC is damaged and he cannot find in the market so what he can do if we want to replace any circuit any IC we have to know its switching frequency that is the basic component of any SMPS if we know the switching frequency we can install any switching switch any microcontroller any device which can switch the transformer because we have to switch the transformer at specific rate that is frequency so we can determine the frequency it have built-in 800 high performance MOSFET minimum power dissipation 0.3 watt at 12 watt regular power 12 watt in extreme conditions it can go up to 18 watt so here it have switch we apply OB bootstrap voltage at this pin from here from this pin it will take for reference for startup switch so it will apply 100 micro ampere current for charging this capacitor when this capacitor will charge then it will discharge internally so this charging and discharging will program the internal oscillator so value of this capacitor at CT pin will determine the switching frequency so we have to calculate the switching frequency from this CT value here is pin description OB is startup bootstrap pin, startup and bootstrap pin, VCC is for working voltage for this IC, ground for chip bicing and power ground, CT, it is timing capacitor, external set frequency, feedback, IES is current sampling limit, OCS output drive pin, VCC startup voltage 16 volt maximum maximum 
MOSFET drive voltage 850 volt. OC pin can drive up to 850 volt. Normal VCC, working VCC is 5.5 volt to 9 volt and its switching frequency is 61 kilohertz when 680 picofarad capacitor is installed at CT pin. So it will switch at 61 kilohertz. Here is its condition 5.5 volt to 7.5 volt CT 600 picofarad 680 picofarad and RS is 1 ohm and normal is VCC change 5.1 volt to 9 volt. Here is its functional description and here is timing pulses. So it is charging pulses and oscillator reset pulse. Different parameters are discussed here regarding VCC and feedback. So we have concern with this timing frequency, timing signal. So to calculate the time, we can put the value of CT. The capacitor connected at pin number 4, the value of the capacitor multiplies it with 24,000. It is constant for this IC. We will determine the time. Then what is the answer? Divided by 1 because F is equal to 1 over T. So we will determine the Hertz. Let's calculate 680 picofarad 10 raised, 10 raised to power minus 12 multiply it two four triple zero so it is double zero double zero sixteen thirty two so divide it one divide it by point one two three four sixteen thirty two it is six thousand one hundred sixty one thousand kilohertz sixty one thousand two hundred seventy four so it is considered sixty one kilohertz as it is discussed here when the ct for this ic if the ct value is six hundred 80 picofarad then the output frequency will 61 kilohertz. We calculated the frequency. We can use any IC near to 61 kilohertz. If we have 60 kilohertz, if we have 67 kilohertz, 60 kilohertz, 67 kilohertz like that. So we can set any IC because if we cannot find this IC. So what we can do? We have to modify the circuit. Then you can arrange some IC which can produce the switching frequency at 61 kilohertz so its duty cycle is up to 57 percent so we can adjust it using any IC we can use wiper IC if we use wiper 12 so it can deliver 13 watt so TFC IC that is 12 watt so this is closest match and it is 60 kilohertz fixed frequency so we can replace with wiper 12A or we can use any top switch from 242 to 50 series within the same this is 14 watt so we can select any IC from this range it is 132 kilohertz but these IC have option for 66 kilohertz normally it is working at 132 kilohertz when F pin is frequency pin is connected to ground if we connect frequency pin to VCC pin to control pin so this IC will go to 66 kilohertz half frequency operation so we can select any option we can select any IC which is available the circuit under discussion may be that is at 100 kilohertz so you can select any option to switch to drive the transformer at the required frequency this is the standard circuit the amount of capacitor of at this point this is the responsible for switching frequency locate the capacitor at this point pin number 4 that is CT look at this capacitor and calculate the value as we discussed in the formula and here is current sensor resistor so we can check what is the amount of capacitor so we can determine the frequency so we can drive this transformer for flyback operation I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button and if you have any question, if you have any comment, any suggestion, please let me know in the comment box. I will thank you. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So friends, I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it. If you want to watch my future videos,
press bell icon button and uh, we can see the circuit of this IC 